We're back at the Creator Lab, and I'm so excited to be with Chris Luxamana, who is the executive producer and now co-host of the Adam Carolla Show. How are you? Oh, I'm great. How are you? Oh, fantastic. So you had a panel yesterday, right? What was that about, and what did you talk about? Uh, what knowledge did you impart on people? I dropped a lot of null. <laughs> I uh, talked about the evolution of the Adam Carolla podcast. We started in 2009, and how all the different stages and how everything's evolved, and the, as far as gear goes, audience, strategy, everything. So, it uh, yeah, I talked about all the microphones we use, the cameras, the the all the old stories, uh, horror stories of things going wrong, things like that. You know, people people I think they dug it. Yeah. So I know you're talking about the transition of podcasts because now I feel like everybody has a podcast. I mean, like I have a podcast, but everybody's like grandmothers has a podcast. But you started early, right? So what kind, how has the tools changed? What did you use in the beginning and what are you using now? Okay. So yeah, I started early. When I started, nobody even knew what a podcast was. I didn't, I barely even knew what it was <laughs> to be honest. And then, so you would tell people, oh, I work on a podcast. And the next question would be, what's that? But now I think after Serial came out, podcast became more mainstream. Mm -hmm. And uh, as far as the, the tools, uh, we started with lavalier mics. We just went straight into the, uh, the headphone jack of a Mac laptop recording in a, a quick time natively. It was a terrible idea. Um, since then, we've, we've gotten better. We've, we have a mixing board. We have interfaces. And uh, we record a lot more professionally now. So I think, I think we're on the right path. Yeah, and speaking of the right path, though, I feel like you know, creators for the first time being a focus at the show, at NAV show, I mean, it could be intimidating. And there's also a lot of gear that could be very maybe not accessible to some creators. So do you have any advice on getting your start? Like, is the idea is to, like, just start? Or do I got to wait for that gear? Do I have to wait for certain things in order to start? Like, what is your best advice on starting? Uh, you don't have to wait for the gear. I mean, there's a lot of affordable gear that sounds good now. And if you have something to say, and just find a way to say it by any means necessary, I think. So um, I think that I mean, that's what's great about this Creator Lab. They, they have all different kinds of gear that's really accessible, and you get to try it all out. So I think I think if you have something to say, then don't don't wait. Don't wait. Just go and do it. And how many times have you been at NAV show? This is my first time. This is your first time? Yeah. When you were thinking of coming, what were you expecting? And is it anything that you expected? Um, there are a lot more cameras and high definition LED screens and green screens that I don't even know it's real anymore. Like, yeah, I have to, I have to, it's I have real. to check. Yeah. So <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's just, it's, I'm, I don't want to say overwhelming because I don't want the, uh, it to be offering at all, but it's just, yeah. it's, but I am overwhelmed. I, I will yeah. say overwhelming actually. Yeah. <laughs> so knowing what you know now being your first time, when you come back next year, what is going to be your game plan or like, this is my must-have need that I need to bring that I did not bring this year. Um, I'm going to remember to bring my phone battery uh, <laughs> because my phone just dies. That's number one. <laughs> I was so, yeah, that was a real new move by me. Um, and I think I mean just yeah because you're gonna, I'm filming a lot more too with the phone and I want I'm, I'm filming some presentations, talking to people, getting ideas and just ways to jot down ideas. So just anything to keep some sort of record and that doesn't die by noon. So yeah, yeah. So well, also speaking about the creator, I want you to plug yourself as well because you are also a musician. I am. You yeah. sing. So what kind of gear are you looking for to? Because I feel like you're touring the NAB show floor not only for the podcast but also for personal interests of music. You're on to me. Um, yeah. So. I, I love microphones, mix, mixers, um, anything audio related. So I'm, I'm a real nerd about that. That's kind of what, what, where it all started. So um, I'm always checking out all of that, the headphones, and just going to all the mixers and playing with all the faders and the knobs, acting like I know what I'm doing. Is there any exhibitor? I believe in manifestation. Is there an exhibitor you're like, I want to work with them so bad, I wish they would sponsor me, I wish I could like get some products from them? Ooh, of course. Um, Digico has some really nice mixers. So Digico... Shout out. <laughs> you know where to look for him. My last thing is, what are you most excited to? Outside of you being here first time, is there any specific thing, like whether it's meeting people, exhibitors, um, networking, what is the most excited, what, are the, what is the, what, what you're most excited about? That's been a tongue twister. It's been a day, but I, yes. I, I, don't, I don't blame you, man. Um, I, I really like this. <laughs> yeah. This is really cool getting to meet you and be part of this show. I'm um, just meeting like-minded individuals, you know, um, we're all here, creators, and just making things happen. And uh, I don't know, it's, it's really it's really cool to hear everybody's voice and vision and see them work it out and with the gear or their 
the way they're, they're speaking or their ideas. So I like that. Yeah. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for being on our show. Thank you for your time and your presence. It's so great to finally meet you, you in too. person. It's been too long.